On this day in Southern Labor history, on July 8, 1908, 4,000 coal mine workers walked out of their jobs and went on strike. They were joined by twice as many workers by the second week. The Birmingham District Coal Strike of 1908 was a significant labor dispute that unfolded in Alabama. The strike was initiated by the United Mine Workers of America to address grievances such as low wages, long working hours, dangerous working conditions, and the oppressive company-controlled mining towns. The interracial labor union went up against Alabama's Big Mules, which was a coalition of powerful politicians and businessmen. In the early 20th century, Alabama's coal industry was booming, but miners faced appalling conditions. The UMWA sought to challenge the exploitative practices of mining companies and fought for higher pay and improved safety measures. The walkouts brought production to a halt. The strike was met with resistance from mine owners and local law enforcement. Companies deployed strike breakers, often armed and supported by private militias, to intimidate and suppress the striking miners. Violence erupted in various instances, resulting in injuries and deaths on both sides. Despite the difficulties, the Alabama coal strike drew national attention and raised awareness about the plight of coal miners. The strike was seen as part of a broader struggle for workers' rights and improved working conditions across the United States. Although the strike did not achieve all of its immediate goals, it helped lay the foundation for future labor movements and reforms.